sister from Thailand, five years the junior to the great Mexican champion who has a three inch advantage in the reach department. The WBC rules govern this championship go. 10 point must system, winner gets 10, loser a lesser number. Three knockdown rule not in effect. No standing eight count. Fighters saved by the bell in the last round only. Ring physician and referee can stop the fight. Accidental headbutt, go to the scorecards after three rounds. And with that, we're gonna go to the center of the ring. Jimmy Lennon Jr. to introduce the champ and the challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Acción Caliente and our main event of the evening brought to you by Forum Boxing Incorporated and Budweiser, the undisputed king of beers. This bout coming your way is sanctioned by and conducted under the rules of the World Boxing Council. The President, Jose Suleiman, Supervisor, Jose Mayorga. The IBF President is Robert Lee Sr. Along with the California State Athletic Commission, the chairman is William Eastman, the vice chairman, Willie Buchanan, commissioners at ringside, Andrew Kim, former world champion, Carlos Palomino, Cal Soto, and Kim Welshons, with our executive director, Richard DeCure. Physicians at ringside, the father-son fight doctor team of Dr. Robert and Dr. Adam Carnes, along with Dr. Paul Wallace. Timekeepers at the bell, also keeping count of the knockdowns, Debbie Garcia and John Lichty. Presenting to you our judges, scoring this bout from ringside. Henry Elespuru, Pat Russell, and Vince Delgado with a referee in charge, and he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Lou Filippo. All right, fans, here we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, it's time for the main event of the evening, the WBC and IBF Light Flyweight Championship of the World scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. I present to you first the challenger on my left fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with red trim and joining us all the way from the Kampangsian province in Thailand. He weighed in at 107 and one half pounds. His outstanding record includes 25 wins, two losses, one draw with 20 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the WBC number five ranked light flyweight contender in the world, introducing Saman Sojaturong. his opponent across the ring is the defending world champion on my right fighting out of the blue corner he is wearing yellow trunks with black trim fighting out of and representing his hometown where he gained the nickname of el pequeño gigante de ciudad mesa mexico his weight the same as his opponent at 107 and one half pounds his record 42 wins two losses 29 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the defending WBC and IBF light flyweight champion of the world, El Carnicerito Humberto Chiquita Gonzalez. Once again, here's our referee in charge, Lou Filippo, now to give instructions. Okay, you had your instructions, give me a good fight. Good luck to both of you. Fernando, there's more Mexican flags here than in Mexico City. <laughs> they were waving from everywhere. Especially now where uh, a lot of the people down there in the government are even hiding. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gonzalez gets a hero's welcome. Did you have a chance to talk with him for a moment or two more than just what we had on camera? Uh, he's very, uh, very at ease. I think he, uh, that the outcome of the other fights are putting a lot of pressure on him. But I must say that in our opening remarks, I thought that Mark Two Sharp Johnson would march right through his band and that both Bradley, the winner, and uh, Marco Antonio Barrera would have a more difficult time. And it just goes to show you, Rich Morata, those two champions just dispatched the opposition, I mean post haste. Yep, and they showed why they're world champions, Tom. Now here's one of the most distinguished world champions of all, very high on all the pound-for-pound -pound list, 
Chiquita Gonzalez. This is his 18th appearance in a title fight. He's a three-time WBC champion, also holding now at the IBF belt as well. He is the only champion in all of boxing right now to hold the championships in more than one sanctioning organization. Oscar De La Hoya also held the two, but just uh, last week relinquished his IBF lightweight championship. Had a fight that was billed as the fight of the year in Las Vegas, Nevada, when Michael Carbajal knocked him out with seconds remaining in the seventh round, came back and beat Carbajal here, took him to Mexico City and beat him. And yet his one fight with Orlando Pascua, uh, Fernando, people remember that because of his rather bad show. Well, he was out of shape, and not only that, but uh, a lot of people realize and they know that he has, he's not the strongest of chins, and that's what makes this fight, uh, this fight rather dangerous. He, got, he just got hit in the middle of the face, and it startled not only Chiquita, but the crowd as well. It backed him right up. It showed a good right hand by Sarchaderong. As you saw in our uh, tape piece just before the fight, Sarchaderong is very quick with those hands, Tom. When he lets him go, he'll throw punches in combinations, and they'll be very short uh, punches. He won't draw those arms back at all. He's going to throw them right from that distance, and he clobbers him with another right hand. Yes, he did, and landed in the left and got a left, or excuse me, a right hand in return from the left-handed Chiquita Gonzalez. Lou Filippo is the third man in the ring. The crowd really warming to this uh, Acción Caliente night here at the Great Western Forum. After two stunning first round knockouts to come back, or one a second round and then a first round knockout. Boom! So Chaturong caught a right hand from Chiquita that had him doing a little toe dance. Just moments before that, he had landed the third solid right hand of this round. <laughs> These two guys exchanging a little thunder in round number one that has about a half minute to go. Bert Sugar is here, noted boxing expert, author, publisher, columnist, what have you. I think we're getting spontaneous combustion here in this one, Tom. <laughs> Amen. They talked about real summer heat. Round number one coming to a close. Each man showed that he's got a chin. Each landed a solid shot. Each one took it. And they go back to their respective corners, I'm sure, thinking to themselves, Boy, that other guy can hit. <laughs> Nacho Verde, who is fast becoming the guru of Mexican fighters. Rafael Mendoza, Rocio Garcia, Ismael Jimenez, and Nacho Verde talking to the champion enthusiastically. They're telling him not to get involved on this exchange. He says he doesn't want him to receive any punches. O cuando te retiras con un gancho vivo. All right, we take a look at round one action. Chiquito leaning in, Tom, landing an overhand right. That's the one that forced Sarchaderong to stumble back. It was a clash of heads and a good, strong right hand there by Sarchaderong. I thought Sarchaderong landed three good right hands during the course of that round, but that one big one may have been still earned the round for Chiquita. I wouldn't argue with that. It seemed to be the biggest of the right hands that were exchanged by these two guys. Round number two. Remember in our opening bout, why Mark Johnson, impressive win, as he defeated um, Josue Camacho. Now, Gonzalez gets knocked down with a right hand. And it was, it was a clean knockdown, Tom. The fans made both, but he did land that punch, and again, it's the right hand. So Chaturong is having tremendous success with the right hand against Chiquita Gonzalez. And Chita now looking very purposeful and certainly aware of uh, the opposite number. He was this also butted as, as, as soon as he was hit, he was butted. That's the reason he was complaining. So Chaturong comes into this fight with a very impressive set of statistics. 25 wins, 2 losses, and 20 knockouts. This is his second opportunity at a world title. He was flattened by Ricardo Lopez in his other opportunity to win a world championship. But they felt that he did not give himself enough time to get acclimated when he went to uh, Mexico for that fight. He was only there for two days and had some problems, apparently. Really wasn't completely ready. He looks like he's ready for this battle tonight. No question about it. And when these two come together, not only the heads clash, but thunderous punches as well. Gonzalez having been knocked down here in the second round. And you know, he's leaving his uh, left hand down when, when all the exchanges, which is very dangerous for the right hand. 
of uh, Saman. Saman so Chatterong is handled by Sampak Srisam Wong, who is a guy who has handled many, many Thai world champions and has a stable of over 100 fighters right now. Say that fast a hundred times, will you please? I, I can't believe I said it once. <laughs> I can't either. I looked at his calling card yesterday, and I would have had no idea in the world how to pronounce that man's name. I still don't, to be honest with you. Is that his first name or his last name? <laughs> I think that may be the Bangkok phone book. I don't know. Well, no matter how you, how you spell it, he's a very successful fight manager. No question about it. And boxing is a big-time item in Bangkok. We may have as many as 20,000 people showing up two, three nights a week for fights. We should point out, too, that, that Saman Sarchatoran was a world champion kickboxer, very successful kickboxer, who made the transformation to orthodox boxing five years ago. Big. Uh, headbutt in there, both heads came together. Either man comes away with a I think Saman is caught in the right eye. Right. Yep, he is. He's caught him with the right eye. Lands a pretty solid right hand. He starts bump heads again. Well, follows Sir Chaturong back to his corner. And they'll be working over the cut over his eye. I think Chiquita is also caught in the left eye, Brown. Charles Atkinson is the man leaning in in the lower portion of your screen and then working now. That's that's Atkinson. He uh, is from Liverpool, has been involved with Thai boxers for a long time. All right, we'll take a look at the knockdown now in round number two. There's a headbutt and then a right hand by Saman. There's the head, but look at that. That is a vicious clash of heads. These two really came together a lot of times. There's another clash of heads as well. There you see it again. And the knockdown really was set up by a headbutt. The, the cut on Simon Sarchatarong's eye is not big at this time. And I'm looking over at uh, Chiquita, and uh, you said he had a cut as well. He him? appears to have a neck above his left eye. Round number three. Gonzalez in the uh, gold and black, in the white and red, Sir Chaturong. Yep, Gonzalez is nicked up as well. He went down in round number two. Chiquita has been through about every conceivable scenario since he turned pro in 1984, Tom. And I don't think we should forget that when he regained the championship from Michael Carbajal last February, or a year ago February, actually, that Chiquita was cut horribly in that second fight with, uh, with Carbajal and yet was able to overcome that and win the decision. I think that the gash over his uh, left eye is uh, bigger than the one over the eye of uh, Sir Chaturang. It looks deeper and uh, certainly looks to be... Uh, bloodier for want of a better word for them and not only that but right now the uh the way because of the of the uh, knockdown and the uh the uh, depending upon when they go to the scorecard he might not be ahead right now that's right the knockdown what i think in the but with all good conscience be a 10-8 round gonzalez is the southpaw He's the IBF WBC light highway champion. Five years the senior to his opponent from Bangkok, Thailand. Come on. Sir Chaturam. And that was the key according to Sabah's people, the age factor. They felt that he was ready to now Chiquita Gonzalez was ready to go. He has already put up a much better showing than many of Chiquita's opponents have against him. Yes. Some of whom are frightened the moment they get in the ring. And with good reason. His record of Gaudi 42 and 2. I think Chiquita is doing a much better job in this round, Tom. He's walking forward, he's putting pressure on Saman and uh, making him back up and defend himself. Lots of instruction coming from all over. In Thai, of course, and predominantly in Spanish. Good right hand by Sir Chaturong, landed flush in the face of Gonzalez again. I like 
like that little exchange. I thought Gonzalez did well there, Rich. Yes, he did. He showed his defensive ability. Remember, although he had, his reputation was made as a slugger, in the last uh, two years he has shown he is a fine boxer and can adjust during the course of a fight. The cut above his left eye is a nasty-looking one. There's the bell. That's the end of round number three. Might have been a better round for uh, the champion than certainly uh, round number two. Now then, as you watch the champion, let me tell you about this. If you'd like to purchase an Axion Caliente t-shirt or cap, call 310-673-1773. Operators are standing by to take your order. That's 310-673-1773. Call now. Well, that is a nasty looking cut, Fernando. It is a big cut. They, are, they have uh, applied pressure. I think that uh, in the past they've been able to control those kinds of cuts. It just depends if he's going to be able to get, uh, to get hit there or not. If he can prevent from getting hit. I thought Chiquita controlled most of that round, though, with fine boxing, although he did get caught with one booming right hand by Simon Sarchadaran. That was the best punch the uh, Thailand boxer threw, though. I agree with you. I thought uh, Chiquita won that round, slim though it might be. This is round number four. It's scheduled for 12. Well, Chiquita lost the title here in that stunning upset to which you referred earlier, Tom, against Rolando Pasqua. He was cut in that fight, and it seemed to shock him. Yes. And he didn't really seem to know how to handle the, the entire situation. Now he's been through that a few times, though, and I don't think the cut itself will have that big a psychological effect upon him. Outside of the fact that it was a loss, one of two that he suffered in his career. Again, he runs right into a solid right hand again. And he might, be a, yeah, he might be a little rubber leg. Yes, he'll get it nailed again. His legs are going up, Gonzalez, and it again is the right hand by Sarchadaran. He has found the avenue to Gonzalez. It is the right hand, a straight right, thrown at short range, Tom, directly between the gloves of Chiquita Gonzalez. Blood coming from the nose of Gonzalez. And again, a right hand, and Gonzalez backs up. He was knocked down in the second round. His nose is bloody. And, of course, blood coming from his eye. And very quickly, as we look at the youngster from Bangkok, swelling under both right and left eyes from the punches of uh, Chiquita Gonzalez. I tell you, these are two thunderous little battlers. And now Gonzalez's face is fast becoming a mask of blood. Race. Yes, it is. It's beginning to look very bad, Tom, for uh, Chiquita. And he may really have to pull his hat up, pull one out of the hat tonight, because Sarchadaran continues to land that right hand and is giving Gonzalez tons of problems in this bout. In referring earlier to the fight and the loss against Pasqua, it was, um, I think, uh, maybe a case in point I was trying to prove about how fickle fans can be. Here's a man who is a two-time champion, has had a magnificent career, and throws in a bad performance, and they won't let him forget it, will they? No, they won't. And uh, the way it's coming out, it's turning out, like, just like what Rick was saying, he's going to be, he's going to need a, a hat. Something out of the hat. Well, I'll tell you, suddenly he's coming alive, but uh, Sir Tatarong is right there with him. And Chiquita driving his man back and Landry punches right and left, backing his man up, and the crowd warming to this battle between these two little giants. I think Chiquita himself senses he was in trouble, and now I think Sarchadaron's in trouble. I know he's in trouble. He's looking for a place, but throws a right hand right back. Are you glad you bought a ticket to this one? Sarchadaron, his face badly swollen, dancing away from the rush of Gonzalez, whose face is a mask of blood itself. There's the bell. What a round. Wow. Nacho Beristain working in the corner on Gonzalez Fernando. Listen in as we watch back in the round. All right, Thomas, we take a look at it. Sir Chaturong was just uh, leveling him with right hands. Had Chiquita in trouble. There you see his legs doing a little bit of a dipsy do. But Ch Gonzalez mounted an amazing comeback after he had been hurt. His face a crimson red. 
and Gonzalez coming forward and just firing with a little caution coming forward and walking right through Sarchero in the great championship heart of Chiquita Gonzalez showing now. They are trying to settle him in his corner. They are trying to tell him to uh, keep his cool, to start boxing, to start keep taking control of the action. This is round five, scheduled for 12. A big left hand lands for Gonzalez. He nails, he gets nailed with the right and comes back with one of his own. But you know, Sir Chatteron still looks a little unsteady to me, Tom, although he carries what appears to be, we talked about his power in that right hand all night. He carries a lot of power, but he still looks a little unsure of himself in there to me right now. Both of his eyes showing the effects of some solid shots. He has got pronounced swelling under both the right and left eye. A swelling that, as this fight goes along, could find uh, both eyes closed. And his vision impaired. Gonzalez, on the other hand, bleeding from the nose, the cut above his left eye. He's been knocked down. So Chatterong is a dangerous guy to get into a slugfest with. He has shown with that right hand that he has got some solid power. of his great ability and great record, Gonzalez has always been known as a guy who, whose chin might be just a little bit suspicious. Down goes for Tatarov. He's back up. This is amazing. When things have looked worse for Chiquita tonight, he's turned it around. And on he comes now like a man with a new lease on life. He just heard from the, from the governor. Gets nailed with a right, and this kid from Thailand will not go quietly if he goes. Most of the damage was done uh, hitting him underneath the liver section. The crowd cheering their favorite, Chiquita Gonzalez on. And he responds by walking right in on top of Sarchanaran. You know, it was in the last round, Tom, when Chiquita got wobbled and his face was bleeding and blood everywhere. Chiquita looked like he just said to himself, enough of this. I'm taking command. Well, he's had a very impressive round. So Chaturong is still up. Chiquita throwing some punches. Might be a bit low. Gets nailed with a couple of solid right hands. But you know, I think it was those body shots that really hurt so Chaturong in the corner before the knockdown. And that right eye is really closing with Sarchatoron's now. And he doesn't have here. much vision out of that at all. And Chiquita working first to the head and then to the body. A relentless attack. Will follow the youngster from Thailand back to his corner. A little slow in getting the stool in there for him. And they're going to have to get the end swell on him too. But he's still not out of this. He's still very dangerous. He oh. can still come up with the right punch. No question about it. They aren't doing a thing about putting the end swell on that eye. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll take a look at what happened in that round of knockdown. So Chatter on right inside. Look at that right hand to the body by Chiquita. He felt that one. Left hand backed him up into the corner. Again, the right hand to the body by Gonzalez. And I think... Sarcharoron was just looking for a way out from that body punishment at that point. He went down in a big hurry and then he got up almost as quickly. As the round came to an end, Gonzalez was pushing forward. Sarcharoron's right eye had blown up by this point. Still throwing that right hand though. Look at he, as Fernando said, still dangerous and he's still got some power there. Let me tell you, between rounds as they come out for number six, gentlemen, they use the old, how about a ton of ice down in your shorts on Sir Chaturang, and it got his eyes wide open, or as open as that right eye is going to be. Yeah, well, they might have been better served putting some ice on that eye instead of down his trunks. <laughs> I can't quite believe they didn't apply some insult or something to that right eye, and now Chiquita forcing his way in on top of the man, banging away at him. This is round number six. Chiquita went down in the second round. So Chaturong went down in round number five. He 
you know what happened the uh, sixth round and uh, Gonzalez still has it up in his mouth. He's in tremendous shape. Well, even a world champion, if you're going to be out there with Nacho Vera staying in your corner, you'd better be in shape. Yeah. You better be well conditioned. I don't think he brooks any interference, champion or not, in that regard. A lot of fight experts in the crowd, Fernando. Oh, yeah. they've, all, <laughs> they've all got a suggestion for him. Last time that it's time to stop, he said, turn around, he says, please. He says, don't yell at these guys because they think that I'm yelling and they're doing everything wrong. <laughs> Good solid work. You see, Gonzalez much more under control now, Tom. He's so taking he's charge of this fight, too, I think, Rich. Even though Sir Chaturang is dangerous with that right hand. He saw it again. Yes. <laughs> there it, it is. Again, another right to solid left by the Thailand boxer. Now you have to wonder if Chiquita can keep this pace if he's not burning himself out in the middle rounds. Again, blood coming down the face of Gonzalez. The right eye of Sir Chaturang is all but closed. They used most of the ice to throw it down the front of his trunks. Should have used some on his face. So Chaturang said that as a teenager, he idolized Chiquita Gonzalez. Watched his career in his first few years in the pros. Little did he realize at the time he would be in the ring with him. He was, as we've reported to you, a champion kickboxer in Asia. Gonzalez nails him again. He has him in trouble. Down he goes. I think he has taken the fight out of this guy, finally. It's just too much. Not, it's not one single damaging blow. It's just too much Chiquita. Chiquita had best proceed with some caution, though. This guy has still got a great right hand. And the right above us, you can see Chiquita's eyes in an appalling state. He is bleeding badly. Yes. Blood coming from his nose as well. There's the bell. Impressive rounds for Chiquita Gonzalez, knocking down Sir Chaturang in both rounds. And despite the fact the ever-present right hand, time being called, doctor coming in to check on the condition of the Thailand boxer. You know, there's sort of a rivalry between Barco Antonio Barrera and Chiquita Gonzalez. Gonzalez says, people are still coming to see me. Barrera says, I think they're now coming to see me. Really? So I think this is one, one of the reasons that, uh, that make people want to see both of them. Because they both come in, put in a good show. And of course, Barrera, well, they, they got Chiquita, they took the stool out of his corner. Chiquita fell down in the corner, they took the stool out of it. It's like an old Charlie Brown joke. I would too if they took it out from him, wouldn't you? You get up and I'll take the chair out from underneath you. Yeah, you can see Chiquita was really putting the pressure on, though, and finally it looked again as though Sir Chatteron just needed a way out from the pressure. Again, being set up with body punches. Too much Chiquita Gonzalez. He's throwing so many punches. Sir Chatteron doesn't see a way out. Chiquita has him pinioned in there, so he wouldn't let him out, and so he just went down. Well, we've had back-to-back first-round knockouts. Bradley scoring an impressive one over Galindez. Boy, I tell you, this kick from Thailand throws a right hand that has hurt Chiquita. He might be going for broke at this point. Look at this. And Chiquita's face is a mass of blood. Down goes Chiquita. Gonzalez's face a mass of blood. Does this remind you of the Carnival kind of Hall fight, Tom? It's the same scenario. It is and indeed. Carlos way ahead and has scored two knockdowns, and yet here in the seventh round, same round, he's in trouble. And he's in big trouble, reeling back as this kid from Thailand throws that thunderous right hand again and again and again. Gonzalez, they have stopped it. They have stopped it. And the youngster from Thailand, after coming back from back-to-back, Championship. What a round for Sir Chaturang, who was down twice and came back to win the championship.
Jeff. An unbelievable turn of events in that round, Tom. Gonzalez appeared to be in total control, but it was the almost exact same scenario as the Michael Carvajal fight, ending in the same round. He had scored two knockdowns the same way that he had against Carvajal. He appeared to be way ahead the same way that he was against Carvajal, but suddenly it was this youngster full of grit and determination who beat the grizzled veteran. Chiquita Gonzalez in what has to be classified as an absolutely stunning upset. No question about it. To recap it, Gonzalez went down in the second round and then as if galvanized into action, I thought one round three, four, knocked his man down to win round five, put him down again in round six to win that, and then suddenly in a reversal and like a flip of a coin, the youngster from Thailand came back and put Gonzalez down and put him out. He went for broke with the right hand, Tom. It had carried so much power. We talked about it the entire round. He's hit Chiquita clearly there with that right hand that sent Gonzalez down flat on his back and out of the ring. He had landed a couple of right hands and wobbled Chiquita just a bit before that knockdown. They were slugging it out. It was toe-to-toe -to -toe action for a good 20 seconds. Chiquita hurt by that right hand that you saw that Sarchatarong slipped in there and now you'll see Sir Chatterong land the right hand that scores the knockdown another one that hurts Chiquita there's the finally the one that knocks him down clean right hands you could see from the very first round that he had the avenue up the middle with the right hand now Gonzalez was in trouble now he was trying to fight back but that right well that was the same knockdown as we continue to show the first knockdown of uh, Chiquita Gonzalez there's that right hand, a thing of beauty, and I'm sure the fans in Thailand right now, as they watch that, were going absolutely wild. Gonzalez got up, a mass of blood. Gonzalez there looking at his own blood, and now finally the end of the fight as Sir Chatteron came forward, battering Chiquita Gonzalez. Gonzalez was trying to fight back, but he was being outgunned, and right there, that's where referee Lou Filippo decided that's enough. Chiquita, you've been a great champion, but I've got to call a halt to this one. Look at that thunderous combination of rights and lefts, and Filippo steps in wisely. In fact, Lou just came over a moment ago, Rich, and said, were they good punches? And indeed, that tape replay shows you how solid, how sure, and how devastating the punches were that drove Gonzalez back and all but helpless against the ropes as uh, Moret, uh, excuse me, as Filippo finally had to stop this fight to save the former champion any additional agony and injury. A stunning upset. Boy, what a Carvel heart this kid from Thailand has got. Absolutely. He did not quit, and he was facing a hostile crowd. He was apparently, I would think, behind on points uh, considerably, Tom, and uh, appeared to be weakening with each round. His eye blown up twice its size, and yet he was able to pull it out. I thought the only round.